Hey guys. Okay, so I was trying to go live on my other channel and apparently it is too small. So I'm going live on here and this is just gonna be a quick video, I mean, assuming, but um, I just, I just wanted to do a video about um, having a hard day as a homeschooler because, oh, there's people coming in. Hello, guys. So so you don't see this very often on, on YouTube. You see people talking about their homeschool plans. You see people talking about their beautiful homeschool routines and their curriculum choices and, and just this, like, very beautiful, almost unreal Little House on the Prairie-esque approach to homeschooling. And it's really easy for those of us in the real world to watch these videos and be like, wow, I do not add up. My homeschool is hard. My homeschool is full of yelling and mess and, and just chaos and whatever. Right. And so I had a really hard day today and I was talking to my friend and she's like, you should talk about this online because people aren't sharing. I just aren't sharing this part of the struggle. And she's like, I just want somebody to tell me that everybody else also yells at their kids and it's going to be okay and tomorrow's a new day. And so I just thought I would share a bit about my day in the hopes, in full humility, in the hopes that maybe one person will watch this and be like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm not alone, right? Because we're not alone and we don't share the mess enough, I think. Um, if we shared the mess, not like I'm a hot mess and I take pride in that. I don't I think it's not, I get your stuff together. Right. But, but it's okay once in a while to just sit down. I wish I had a cup of coffee in my hand and just be like, it's okay to be in the mess. <laughs> Mommy for life. You're cracking me up. That sounds amazing right now. I, the kids are downstairs. Okay. So I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to tell you about my day in the hopes that it just makes you feel better. And maybe we can just have some camaraderie and we can pray for each other and tomorrow's gonna be better. So I wake up and I've only had like six hours of sleep because myself in the in the sleepy stupor is like, I'm doing the fly lady system. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna get so much done today. I am gonna just kill this day on six hours of sleep. And so I wake up just tired and I should have gone back to bed. But Ryan was up for work and I'm like, I'm going to get up and I'm going to read my Bible and I'm going to do my things. And it's going to be a great day, just like yesterday. Well, I get up and I start moving through my day. And I can just tell it's not going to be, a very, it's going to be a, a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. And I love Alexander. It's kind of going to be like that. I just could tell like, just the way I'm reacting to things and um, I'm being like sensitive and kind of not very nice and whatever. So. And I had these plans last night. I was going to be like really like just awesome with Chloe today. I was going to like bond with her. She's almost 11. I only have so many years left with her. And I'm just like, I, I like hanging out with Chloe. I'm going to hang out with Chloe today. Anyway, so we sit down at 9 o'clock. School starts at 9 o'clock. And in the back of my head, I'm like, we really need to go to the grocery store. But I'm trying to protect the homeschool time. Do you guys do this where you're like, I have to um, do all these things, but the homeschool hours should be protected. Pam Barnhill talks about this a lot. And so even though I should have just gone to the grocery store in the morning because that would have made me feel more accomplished than what happened. I was like, no, we're going to, we're going to persevere. We're going to start school at night. So we sat down and I'm trying to teach Neil math and I'm using math, you see. Matthew C. and Neil are not working out together, but I am determined that I'm going to use Matthew C. Because first I was using the good and the beautiful Math K, and I had to skip a lot of things. One, because there's way too much stuff. There's way too much content in there. 40 minutes of math for a five or six-year-old is crazy. It's And I know that she's working on a smaller, a shorter version, but I couldn't do it. So I was skipping a lot of things. And then it just felt like it was just all review. So then I pulled out Matthew C. Alpha which Chloe loved. She did so well. She was like a math whiz in this thing. Math. She did it when she was even younger than Neil. And so I pulled out, I'm like, this should be a review. This should be easy. And Matthew C., if you don't know, is full of tr mental math tricks. So like when you're adding anything by nine, you subtract one from the other number because the nine wants to be a 10. 
So like nine plus six is the same as 10 plus five. And then you get 15. He's not getting it. Well, now we're on subtraction. So now we're on the nines subtracting. So 16 minus nine is seven because you actually add one to the six to make seven. It makes perfect sense to me. It's actually a great trick, but it's not clicking with him. And so for some reason, I'm like, do you not understand what's going on in this problem? 16 minus nine is seven. I'm like not, I'm like, so I'm like legit, like yelling. And then it was like, one of the problems is nine minus nine. I'm like embarrassed to tell this, but I'm telling you nine minus nine. And he's like, he wrote 10 down. And I was like, oh my gosh, nine minus nine is zero. And like, I'm just like, I would never yell at somebody else's kids. I would never, I, I'm like, I have an education degree. I would never yell at somebody else's kids. And yet I'm like screaming at my child out of fear and because I'm tired. So, you know, and then I apologize immediately. I always apologize. And my friend is so beautiful and she'll say things like God uses our fails to teach our kids. And so like, she's like, never beat yourself up too much because God works with our failures to either teach, teach your kids some other kind of lesson. I don't know. She says it really beautifully. I always hack it up. And uh, anyway, so that was my math. And then everything else, I think that was the only schooling I did with Neil because pretty much right now all we're doing is math in language arts. So we're doing the good and the beautiful math, uh, language arts, which I like. There's nothing wrong with that. And then, <laughs> and then Jessica, you're so funny. Jessica says, I feel like I'm on mute with my kids. Yeah. So, um, anyway, so we're gonna, doing the good and the beautiful language arts. I actually really like it. We just, just got it. We ordered it like two, two months ago and it finally came. And then the math thing, obviously. So I think Neil needs a, a math program online because um, he really likes Starfall. He really likes math apps. And so maybe I could just find a math program and stop trying to push this Matthew C program on him that I think is really good, but it's not, it's not working. Anyway, so... Then we decide that we're going to, so then I decided that we're going to write our letter, like write and address letters to our friends back home because the kids have been begging me to do it. No one has our mailing address, so no one can mail us. I don't have anyone's phone numbers. They're not on WhatsApp. Do you know what I'm saying? And so like we do that and it goes well, but for some reason I'm still just like yelling at Neil and I'm just like, it's getting to a point where I, I realize I can't even take him out of the house because I'm going to end up yelling at him in public. And it's not really his fault because he's acting the same way he always acts. But I'm like reacting to it in such a strange way. Anyway, so I'm just having one of those days. So I guess that's it. So pretty much I'm like, I wrote this letter to my friend. I'm like, we're going to homeschool until January. I mean, July, because that's what the Germans do. And then like 10 minutes later, I was like, I think today's our last day of school. I don't even know you guys. I'm just like, I can't handle this anymore. <laughs> and we haven't even really been schooling. Because we unschool a lot because we moved to Germany. So I'm like, why is this? Anyway, I think I'm just having one of those days. What does Elsie say? My nine-year-old is still doing first grade math. We've been working on the same topics for years. It is so weird. <laughs> and I feel so tired just listening to you. It is so frustrating. I get it. He's so smart in many ways that math and reading are a huge struggle. Oh, I'm sorry. Chloe's, um, her reading's gotten a lot better. So I ordered, so Neil's going to be in second grade and he's start, he's, I'm working through the level K, the good and the beautiful, because I don't hang up. I mean, it's a whole other video, but like, I don't get hung up on the grade levels, but I, I, I'm just, I'm just realizing that that program, Matthew C is not working for Neil. Like it's just, it's not working. Cause I just end up yelling at him because it's, it's like when your brain works differently than the kid. But again, like if these are stranger kids, I wouldn't be yelling. So I don't get it. I don't get, I don't get it, Jesus. He's staring at me. He's like, Laura, chill out. So I prayed a rosary in Latin and that helped a little bit. I put it up on parlor if you guys want to know what I use when I pray in Latin. Um, and 
I told everybody they need to go downstairs. I think I apologized to Neil five times a day already. Like legit apologize with like hugs and I'm sorry and I'm just terrible mom. And of course, I don't I try not to say that actually because he it makes him feel guilty and then it like negates what I did because then he immediately will go to, oh my gosh, mom, you're not a bad mom. So I try not to actually say that. Um, my cat is freaking out down here. But um, I'm just having one of those days where do you guys have days where your your head's just spinning? And so it feels like there's like a hundred things you're shooting yourself you should do. Like I should do this and I should do this and I should do this. And then it's almost like nothing's happening because you're, sh- you're just, your wheels are just spinning. And I don't really know how to come out of that. Like, I feel like, like I feel like a mental case right now. <laughs> and that's why I'm live because I'm like, you know what? If I film this, the good and beautiful is hard. Um, it's my cat actually, but I'm filming this live because if I'm like, I told, I told my friend, her name's Audrey. She's so sweet. But I told her that if I film this tomorrow, I'll be like, Hey guys. So yesterday I had a really hard day. <laughs> and it would be, sorry, it's three o'clock and it would be so, um, it would be so like not helpful. Right, because it would just be me all happy and joyful, and I hope you guys don't think I'm like that all the time. I mean, I try to be because there's joy. Jesus, Jesus Christ is Lord and King, and He loves me, so there's a lot of joy there. But oh, you can see my cat in the mirror. Do you guys see him? Um, and so, uh, yeah, overwhelmed is the word for it. Yeah, so. So anyway, I thought I would go live and I was going to do it on my homeschool channel and they won't let me go live yet. They're like, your channel is too small. Oh my God. So if you haven't subscribed to Swimming Against the Current yet, then um, make sure you do that so that I can get more people so I can actually help people by, you know, reaching more people. <laughs> um, is my cat lazy? He's an indoor kitty. I wouldn't call him lazy. He's just, he's a little fat. Is that what you're commenting on? <laughs> um. So anyway, so I have to end this with like a good note, right? So I know in my head that if I exercise, I will feel better. So I'm, but everything in me is shouting not to exercise. Like, I don't even know. Like I can't take, I don't take naps. I don't, I don't do well with naps. So it's like, I don't really know what to do because I don't feel like I could read right now. I don't really like putting movies on. I told the kids I'd sit down and watch a movie with them later, but I, uh, Anyway, I just know that exercise will work. So I think what I'm going to do is put on my workout clothes and go downstairs and just go on the the rower for like 20 minutes and, and just like push really hard and like get to a place where I need a shower. And then hopefully by the time my husband's home, I'll be in a different mental state because exercise does release endorphins. But right now sitting here, everything is screaming don't exercise don't fix yourself like you just you just kind of (laughs) suck and uh and it could be a spiritual warfare too um i don't know i don't really understand how spiritual warfare works i got my deliverance book somewhere around here but um i don't know i get kind of confused about spiritual warfare but my friend said she had a couple days last week where she was really foggy brained and it was she thinks it was spiritual warfare and I was like, oh, I didn't even know he could do that. I didn't even know that the devil could, like, do that to you. Like, make you have a hard time processing stuff. And I don't know. So anyway, but there's always tomorrow. I'm not going to sing, but I kind of want to sing the Annie song. And um, I do know that prayer helps, right? So it's almost like nothing. You don't want to pray when you're like this. It's very weird. It's like you don't want to, so that's why I I put on the rosary because it was, I knew that reaching out to Mother Mary and asking her to help me and saying Ave Maria uh, makes a big difference. And I'm tempted to pray the chapel with you guys because I'm already on here, but that's not really the title of this story. So I won't, I will pray it by myself while I work out. But um, anyway, just know you're not alone. Some days are like this, even in Australia. And, uh, novena to saint anthony for all of us to having a bad day how do i yeah i know no i'm gonna do workout i just don't feel like jumping because i feel like i have a headache too 
This was cool about the rower is you can sit and it's still like a good workout, but you're just sitting. I don't know. It feels kind of like cheating, but I guess it's not. It's better than nothing. Um, yeah. And Richie, what you're saying about kids being responsive to their elders, I feel like the kids were fine, but they, res and I know this, they respond to my mood. And so he's more whiny and like tearful because I'm not settled. And I know that. And it's such a huge responsibility. I mean, homeschooling is such, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, um, sorry, Mummy for Life said, I don't jump anymore after five kids. Dude, I, <laughs> yeah, the trampoline the first time was interesting. I've only had two. Um, anyway, I still have the trampoline, but I won't go into details. Um, hi, Anna. So. Or is it Anna? I never know when there's like only one in. Um, anyway, yeah. So I think I'm sure he was feeding off of me and my, oh, you guys can see my, in the like, near hello. Okay. Um, but yeah. So it's just like one of those things where it's hard to get out of it. And I just wanted to share that some days are like this and it's, uh, it can be hard mentally and emotionally to kind of pull ourselves out. And so obviously I'm not out of it yet, which is why I'm live right now. Um, but just if you find yourself like this, make sure you apologize to your kids a lot. Maybe give them some ice cream. We have no, we have nothing sweet in the house except Nutella. I really need to go to the store. I was going to go to the store and get all the things. Oh, I was trying to say that like, I think it's one of those things where sometimes motherhood can be overwhelming. Like Dave said, that um, that there's so many things we're juggling, you know. It's like there's homeschool, but then there's also like caring for the house and doing the laundry and cleaning toilets and making sure the kids are okay. And then some days when they fight, I take it so personal. I don't know. I guess I'm going in the weeds now. But there's a lot of things on our plate, and it's hard to sometimes prioritize. And no one is telling us what to do but ourselves, and maybe society. But it's, it's hard sometimes. And it's easy to forget to ask God. <sighs> That's because I'm going to pray for you. I'm sure you'll have a good day. I don't know. Like, I'm just having a crazy day. And I don't, it shouldn't be crazy. And I think one of the reasons, here's one of the reasons I think it's crazy. I keep starting the day without prayer. Not me personally, but our homeschool. So go pray together first. Because what happens is that it's, it's pretty much almost summer here. And I just want to stop. And so um, I, I think that we might just stop. I think Friday might just be the end. But it's like I don't want to. Um, but it's like I know I should do the daily readings with the kids. I go into the iPad app. I pull it up. It's actually the same reading as Sunday because it's traditional calendar. And I just want to read it with the kids. Do a couple prayers, you know. And then get started. And, um, but, um, what was I going to say? I'm getting distracted by your guys chatting, and that's okay. Um, sorry, I just like completely lost, I lost my train of thought there. Prayer. So, see, spiritual warfare. But if you start the day of prayer, you start the homeschool prayer, then it's like you're so centered on God that I think some of the chaos won't be there. But I think I'm just ready to stop homeschooling for the year and start planning for the fall. And I'm and I'm looking at how bad our day was today. And I'm like, how am I supposed to add poetry and history and science and truth, beauty, and goodness like into, I mean, I do plan on reading my book right here, you know, maybe I just need to go sit outside with some coffee and read. I just like can't decide what I want to do. But then I have, like, mom guilt for not playing with my kids or hanging out with my kids. You guys have that? I hate that. Mom guilt sucks so bad. And I don't think dads – dads do have it. But I don't think it's at the same extent. Okay, Sarah says, I'm right there with you. It's been a rough week. And I even told my mom I didn't want to go to confession because I thought it would make it worse. Huh. Spiritual warfare is no joke. So exhausting. Yeah. Maybe – I mean, maybe that is just what it is. It is exhausting. I'm just exhausted today. 
And I did just constantly, I don't know. We've been doing a lot of like good spiritual stuff in our house. And so I don't know if maybe, but it's so confusing. Cause like if God has to allow spiritual warfare, right. Then I don't know if God has to allow spiritual warfare, then like, why is he allowing it when we're like trying so hard to do the right thing? Oh, Hey, altar server. That's cool. Jessica says, have you heard of the website Notion? It's free and very useful for organizing your life. I'll look it up. I'll write it down. I use Trello, but not as well as I could. And I was just listening to Cass from Clutterbug. She has a book that's free if you have an Audible subscription. So I was listening to her. And I don't know if that maybe stressed me out a little bit. I don't know. Notion. Writing it down. Silver locks, Debbie, right? I wish I could have homeschooled. I didn't have the health. My one daughter is now grown up and married. I still feel guilty about the garbage she was exposed to. Oh, don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Don't feel bad. We don't have regrets because all the garbage she was exposed to, like, it's very possible that formed who she was. And there's a lot of good in public school that my kids aren't getting. Like, there were so many times that those moments where I had to push persevere through a hard project or a hard um, teacher or bullying or whatever it is. It's like, it's not pleasant, but it made me a lot stronger of a person and a lot more fiercely independent. And I worry, I'm not, I don't worry, but I, I realize that there are opportunities that my children are missing by being homeschooled. Because their life is so easy. And I think that's what gets to me sometimes. is because I went to public school and I know what it's like to get up at 6 a.m. every day and take a shower and get on the bus and be bullied on the bus and go to school and be hungry until noon. And, like, I know all those things that when my kids roll their eyes because I ask them to go make their bed, I'm just like, and then immediately I think about all the farm children, like children who live on the farm and are up at like collecting eggs and milking cows. And you read like Little House on the Prairie. And I'm just like, wow, am I just raising the most spoiled kids? And then there's that like fear that comes in there. I don't know. Like, you know, and then if you watch anybody on YouTube who acts like their kids are just doing all the chores without with a smile, then it make, make you feel a lot worse. <laughs> so my kids do not do chores with a smile once in a while. They will say, okay, and they'll go do that. And I know that's maturity and you can't force maturity, but I do think that there it's possible. I think they're going to know themselves really well. And I think they're going to know right, right from wrong really well, but I want to also make sure that they're resilient and that they have moments where they have a struggle that they overcome, you know, because in public school it's kind of thrust upon you often. Um, mummy for life says Satan always attacks us homeschooling mothers. He hates when we're, that's true. That's really, that's really true. He says we, he hates what we are doing. That's true. That's really good. I'm going to write that down. You know why? Because I need that. I need to like, I don't want to swear. I used to swear like a sailor, you guys. Like I would say the F word probably like 30 times a day, if not more. Oh, just all the time. And I don't anymore. It's amazing. <laughs> what are you doing? My husband's on here. <laughs> what are you talking about, Ryan? I'm the one confessing how terrible I've been today. Oh, my gosh. I'm like totally embarrassed now. You weren't supposed to watch this. <laughs> That's hilarious. What are you doing online? Go say the, the chaplet. Okay. So, <laughs> Mummy for Life says Satan always attacks us. So funny. I'm like totally embarrassed right now. Attacks us homeschooling moms. I'm gonna write that down. I just never think about that. Oh my gosh, Ryan, stop laughing and go away. No, okay. Okay. So anyway, my husband's here. So I'm just like, I literally am like embarrassed now. Like my whole body's hot. Anyway, <laughs> it was a hard day, and the kids are downstairs. I don't know what they're doing, and I'm gonna go row. And uh, and try to be in a better mood before my husband gets home. <laughs> Debbie says, I got 
by this undercover, oh, I go by this undercover username because I'm physically in but mentally out of a religious organization that's mind controlling. If and when I leave, we lose our loved ones. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I could probably guess what you belong to, but I may be wrong. But Brian, I've watched a series on that kind of situation and it's just, I'm so sorry. I'm going to pray. Debbie, I'm going to pray my rosary for you tonight. Ryan, we're going to pray for Debbie tonight. If you're still here. Um, yeah, because that is, that is so sad when you're in that. That has nothing to do with this topic, but I'm going to pray for you. That's so exciting. You're starting RCA tomorrow night. Wow. What month are we in? June? They're starting RCA now? That's cool. I didn't, I always thought they started in the fall. Okay, guys. Well, it's been almost 30 minutes and we talked about how hard my day was. And it was all my fault. And um, so I'm going to go work out and take a bath and get my mind right. And, um, but just know that you're not alone. And, um, and that I hope this video is encouraging and I love the idea of kind of like looking at Satan every morning and saying, not today, Satan, and like really embracing, but I realize I need to, I need to surround my homeschool with prayer because if I don't, then days like this happen. And then it's just, I just don't want my kids to have like these bad, uh, memories of me just yelling at them and go oh, yeah school my kid, mom just yelled at me so i'm gonna i'm gonna read this i think i'm gonna go take a bath and read this after my workout um better together so you guys have a very blessed day let's say an ave maria for all those home scores okay let's just let's just knock one out and what's a butterfly outside doesn't that mean something there's like a, a butterfly flitting around the window all right in the name of the father and son and the holy spirit amen ave maria grazia plena dominus tecum benedicta tu mulieribus Et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nuc and ora mortis nostre. Amen. Mother Mary, please grant all of us homeschoolers abundant grace today and in the coming days so that we can educate our children with warmth and love, teaching them truth, beauty, and goodness, remembering that they are not ours, but they are God's, and we have only own crime. <laughs> We've only been tasked with having their souls with us for a little bit in order that they may fulfill God's will for them. Amen. In the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, guys. Well, now that I did that, that was beautiful. Um, uh, let's see. All right, guys. With that, I'm going to talk to you guys later. But please share this with anybody that you know is struggling with homeschooling or having a hard, hard homeschooling day because, um, like I said, I wanted to be raw so that, so that we – so just – just the reality of homeschooling is out there because I think social media can make it look like it's all roses and beautiful. And it is most of the time, but there's some days that are really hard. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.